soup's on. Soup is ready. All those fresh veggies, kale and potatoes, and homegrown garlic and beans, onions, tomatoes from the neighbor. I'm ready to eat. Yesterday, I got a text from my neighbor and she said, do you want any of my plants? I'm gonna dig them out and throw them out. So I went over and I dug them up and I planted them in here. So I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing, but I'm gonna have to just cut them back and um, till next year, but at least they're planted. So I'm gonna water them right now, one step at a time. Soon I'll be digging up a bunch of plants over here and planting them over there. I've got them all marked. Work in progress, probably this weekend. Hello. Well, I did go through my garden pretty much and I pulled out a lot of the plants. And my neighbor Mel asked me if I wanted some plants and I popped them in there. So I've got a lot of stuff planted already in the garden for next year. Um, we're gonna get rain for a couple days so I wanted to pop them in and get them started because I'm gonna have to trim them back soon and I'm pondering what else I'll be putting in there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Way better than it did when I bought the place. and Way better than last week. Got the sidewalks repaired. Got the 4x4s and the 6x6s and the mulch and the compost and the plants. So it's looking really good. I still have some work I still have to do on the garden. But we're going to get a couple days of rain and I'll work on that next week. And then Kyle is coming Tuesday or Wednesday and we're going to put in... The fence posts or the fence along the property so yeah fall is coming i still got a little time almost time to plant garlic so just loving the garden everything's growing but soon it'll be time to shut it all down just loving the end of it it's been a great year I'm going to go ahead and dry some lion's mane mushrooms and some shiitake mushrooms and some bananas today. And I'm going to keep some of the shiitake mushrooms so I can go ahead and use them in my soup today. 
And the lion's mane mushroom, they're very good. And I'm going to go ahead and dry them so I can put them in soups. Uh, it's nice to find them fresh, organic. And when I do, I like to, I like to dry as many things as possible in the dehydrator. And I love dehydrating bananas. They are so yummy. I just slice them thinly, not too thin because then they get, it's hard to get them off the grate and then they're too thin. You need to have a little bit of substance, have something to work with. I haven't gotten the drying method down too much. I'm not really ever sure how long to do it. Um, usually keep them in the refrigerator. So I need to do a little research as to find out how long to dry certain foods to make sure that the moisture is all gone. So you can keep them in, in the cupboard instead of in the fridge. I'd like to do that eventually. These are all washed in my Kangen water machine. I washed them in my nine point water. And I'll tell you about the, the Kangen water machine sometime. But like I said, I'm gonna keep some of these shiitakes and cook them later. They're extremely tasty. I'm not a big fungi person, but they are really good for you. So when I have the opportunity to dry them or cook with them, I do throw them in my food. And then I put them in jars, keep them dry. So I'm ready to use them in soup or salads or cook them up. Okay, let's do the bananas. The bananas are organic. I keep a few for the week. And these I just got yesterday kind of soft awfully quick. I guess I'll keep these two. I cut them in thick chunks. Um, so I used to make these for Coulter all the time. I actually made a couple dozen of them and mailed them to Alaska for him a while ago. I guess I should do that again. is I just cut them in fours and then drop them right onto the right onto the dehydrator platform here. Save me a step. I like to do these little jobs in between being outside and being kind of exhausted. <laughs> kind of meditatively gives me a break. I don't always have the energy or the time to film. But with this YouTube channel, I figured I'd start sharing all the things I do in between my jobs. Because I don't just work. I enjoy my food and I enjoy my dehydrating and soups and herbs and teas and supplements and smoothies and um at some point, I'll share some recipes and things and some other things that I do. I have a morning routine that I would love to share. It's just hard to share when you're meditating and you're trying to have some quiet time and then you have to film yourself. So one, one day I will do it. Yeah, these got kind of smushy. thought I picked a, a greener bunch, but I guess not. I'm sure these will be just fine. 
but this is fine. They take a little longer because they're thick, but they sure taste good. A nice little snack. It feels like you're eating candy, but yet, you know, it's just banana. So I don't feel so guilty when I need some little sweet pick-me-up. I'm headed back outside, so I still have my fleece on. Getting ready for... Kyle to come tomorrow. We're going to put in the fence posts, put in 35 holes for the 4x4x10 four by four by fence posts on the south side and just across the parking lot halfway so I can go ahead and begin putting um, in the fence at my leisure when I feel like doing something different. I have to take each old board that I rescued from an old fence. I need to cut the ends off into nine foot sections. So I'm going to do that after we have the posts. The fence will only be three foot high along the south side of my parking lot. And then when it stops at the end of the parking lot, then it's going to go to six feet. So I will just at my leisure be able to put those boards up, cut them and put them up. Okay. One little project today that I got out of my refrigerator. Now to put them in the dehydrator. My dehydrator, for the lack of a better place to put it and a place to plug it in, since my kitchen is not complete, I just set them on the floor. Actually, I'm going to put the shiitakes on top of the bananas because they'll be done cutting. Go. Pull it on. Oh, that was fun. On to the next. As you can see, my beautiful floor. I'll give you a tour of my kitchen, but uh, it's partially gutted and I'm not ready to give a little tour. So, anyway, you can look at my beautiful floor and my, my gorgeous Muslim prayer rugs. I am going to dry some organic ginger. You know, ginger doesn't last terribly long. I put it in a lot of things. I mix it with um, olive oil and I put honey, olive oil, garlic, and I put it together and I have a teaspoon of that a day. I've got lots of recipes that I do. I just chop up garlic, a clove of garlic every day. This is the garlic I grew. I just love having it here. Just take it, cut it up into teeny little pieces, and I just take a drink of water and I just swallow it down. It has lots of um, healing properties, so it's part of my everyday therapy. And also what I did was I'm, I'm dehydrating the tomatoes that my neighbor gave me and some kale. So I eat really well. I prepare my food, I take time, but I just don't have time to put everything out and do videos of it. Maybe one day, but I can only do so much. So I just wanted to share with you that I eat all natural, organic food, and I do enjoy my time when I'm eating and pretty much only eat two meals a day. I'll share that with you at some point in the journey. Yum. A delicious salad. One day I'm going to go ahead and put my recipes together and have them all organized and share what I eat because it's yummy and healthy and got avocados, fresh pears I grew, tomatoes from the neighbor, everything's organic, my garlic, so it's all just dehydrated stuff and yummy, but I have time to prepare it and eat it, but I don't have time to film it, maybe one day, looking forward to that.